Okay, so Peplink just announced something really cool. They're going to be giving away the Speed Fusion Cloud for free for 90 days. And so I'm going to show you how to get it set up. The first thing you need to do is realize that you have to have a special firmware to, to operate the Speed Fusion Cloud. So if you don't have in control on your router, you can down, download the firmware and install it manually. Or if you have in control, you can go to settings, firmware, choose the latest special build that's now published online, click immediately and hit save changes. If I go back to my HD4 demo router here, uh, you'll see it's updating the firmware. If you have 7.1 or 2 or below, you need to upgrade to 7.12 first before going to 8.0. So I'm actually upgrading to 7.12 and then I'm going to go to 8.02. If you have version 6 firmware, you need to go to the latest 6, then the latest 7, and then go to 8. Okay, so now that the router is updated to the latest firmware, I can go ahead and go to the service enrollment. And you do that by clicking on this link here. It'll bring up the service enrollment. So you're going to need your serial number and your email address. So we've got the serial number of the router. I'm going to put in my email address. Tell them I'm not a robot. Hit submit. And then I should receive an email in just a few seconds um, with the information. So I can go ahead and click, go back to my router, click settings, remote web admin. And I'm gonna to go to the system tab and I'm gonna to go to feature add-ons. And I've already received my license key. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the license key and paste it into the system add-ons and hit activate. You'll see right here, span speed fusion WAN activation key license activated. So I can go back to, I can go to my advanced tab, go to speed fusion, set my local ID. And right there, you'll see this new feature set up um, Speed Fusion WAN. So I'm just going to click on this, go ahead and enable it, hit save, and click apply. You'll see that it's creating the tunnels after I've clicked apply. Okay, now that the Speed Fusion WAN is enabled in the Speed Fusion settings and I applied the changes, the router is online and you can see it set up right there. Now, there, there are two tunnels that are created by default. The default tunnel, which is our standard sp speed fusion option. And then they created another one called speed fusion WAN, WAN smoothing. WAN smoothing adds um, extra parity bits to ensure reliable voice and video operations. Now, if you use WAN smoothing as an option, it will use more data. So if you're on cellular, that's uh, that's important to know. If you're on like a cable modem with a backup cellular, that's also important to know because once again, you're gonna use more data, but you're gonna have better voice and video, especially over volatile connections like DSL or cellular. So now that the speed fusion tunnels are created, we're gonna go ahead and program the router to use those tunnels. So if we go to the advanced settings or network settings, if you're using a balanced router that doesn't have cellular go to your outbound policy and i can create an outbound policy that will allow my voice traffic to use um the wan smoothing option so i'm going to say voip destination you can either put in the domain name which is like say the service provider of your sip trunk or you could change it to if you don't know that and you instead would rather use the ports used for your phones that your phones use. So you can either do by domain name and just put in your SIP trunk provider or do it by port. So I'm going to go back to domain name because I like that one a little bit better. So I'm going to say if anything goes to nextvortex.com, um, enforce or priority over WAN smoothing. So I'm going to choose WAN smoothing here. So what that does is it'll say... Uh, use the Speed Fusion WAN smoothing option, and then if that doesn't, if that's not available for whatever reason, fail over to my normal internet connections. And down here, when you say when no connections are available, I like to say fall through the next rule, just in case something um, need, you need that extra level of protection, especially with voice traffic. Save, and then I'm going to go ahead and, on my HTTPS persistence. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say so. Basically, this HTTPS persistence rule says, hey, if it's 443, maintain a session persistence. So what we're going to do is we're going to say priority 
Speed Fusion, then fail over to your internet connections. And then on my default rule, I'm going to go to Custom, Priority, and, oh, I, sorry, I don't want to do the WAN smoothing one. I want to do the default style. That's going to use less bandwidth. So any any of your voice traffic, um, voice or video traffic that you want to do speed WAN smoothing, create a custom policy for that, either the port or the destination. And then for your other traffic, you're just going to use um, Speed Fusion default. Hit apply changes, and that's now your router is set up to use the Speed Fusion Cloud. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope this information is helpful to you. Just a little bit of a background uh, for those of you who don't know, Speed Fusion does require two peers, um, something to bond your traffic and then the device to be bonded or the device to be connected. Um, with the new Speed Fusion Cloud, that is no longer the necessary case. If you are a standalone user out in the field or you have a whole bunch of uh, branch locations all over the world or country, you can deploy them using the Speed Fusion Cloud and they will connect to the closest local hop and then use the bonding to, uh, add, to connect to your services. So in, instead of needing a big um, deployment of Speed Fusion or Fusion Hub, endpoints you can just use the speed fusion cloud to do that more information will be coming later but this has been rush uh, enabled to support people that are working remote right now that might need reliable connectivity especially for voice and video operations have a great day